So that animation there was created really quick. If you want to know where I got these building assets and all that kind of stuff, like and subscribe. I'll release a video about that a little bit later. But we're here to talk about the procedural traffic add-on. Let me just quickly show you how simple it is. Now there is a link in the description for it. Now once you've downloaded the add-on, unzip it, save it somewhere, remember where it is. File, append, so we're going to bring everything down into this blend file. Then we go find our uh, folder where we've unzipped it. Procedural traffic, yes please. Collection, and then for this version we're selecting city. Append. And over here on the right hand side, do not delete these assets, we're just going to hide them. Now the other thing I'm going to do is enable cars and real cars to be rendered straight away, just so I don't forget later. From here we need to bring in some cars. So, wherever you've unzipped that folder, you'll know that there's a models folder. Let's go edit, preferences, we're going to go into file paths and add that models folder into our asset libraries. And then save. From here, click and drag that over. Let's open up our asset browser and we're gonna have traffic and traffic signs. Now traffic signs are obviously just some assets that you can throw together, but the traffic themselves, we've got a low poly car and then we've got the high poly car version. And we'll bring across the Ford F-150. However, before we do that, up the top here, follow preferences, we're gonna say link, then click and drag it into the scene. Cool beans, there's our car. And it's already attached it to the Bezier curve that we've imported. And I'm also going to bring in that proxy as well. I forgot to put it into the proxy collection, so let's just move that down. Let's bring in another car while we're at it. I'm hoping more cars come into this pack soon. BMW, we'll throw that one in, the realistic one. And the proxy. And we'll sort these out again. Proxy down to the proxy, please. Thank you. From here, we can select the traffic object, come into modifiers. And then here is where all the settings are for the procedural stuff. Let's for now just go back into fast preview over here on the right hand side. It's going to use the proxies. And the problem is, is the cube. Not this one, but this one. This one here is responsible for stopping traffic. So if we go back to frame one, um, untick real cars in viewport, silly Marco. Back to the start, let's press play. You can see how we've got our box here. This is actually stopping all the traffic, but if you move it out of the way, the cars will go. That's a pretty cool feature. I really do like that. Now, obviously, because this is a Bezier curve, we've got curves up the top here. We can kind of edit it. So we have, for instance, you know, a road with a curve. Cool beans. Now, the other thing we can do, if we click on traffic, we've got a whole bunch of other options. So for instance, two-way traffic. <laughs> Let's go back to the start and it should give us two-way traffic. Awesome. The reason why it's doing that is because the road surface is too small. Let's go back, buddy. There we go. Restart that animation. Lovely. Let's go back onto traffic. Let's go two lanes. Yeah, nice. Once it starts off at the start, yeah, you can kind of put those things in. We can throw in some more cars. Nice. Can you just get out of the way, buddy? And then we've also got the options of coming down and adding multiple curves. So what I can do is just go like Shift D on this curve. Curve, sorry. Uh, you can see now that we've got two curves and we can move that off to the side, you know. And then we can create individual roads. Let's go back to the start. And there we go. Like, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Quickly generate cars. Nice.